Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that by far, one of the most mysterious aspects of the Star Wars sequel trilogy has all to do with Rey's parents and exactly her lineage and how that's going to be handled in Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker by J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing about this movie that a lot of people are looking forward to is, of course, Rey's parents and how they are going to be explained by J.J. Now, we do know that J.J. will be exploring many different pieces of Rey's past as well as her lineage in this movie, since a lot of those elements will be changed a little bit from The Last Jedi here and there in order to give us a big and full answer of those burning questions from The Force Awakens that will now be answered in Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the set leaks, this is where things begin to get very intriguing when it all comes down to the new identity of Rey's father in Episode 9. Now, specifically, it's described that one of the sequences that were shot during the month of December included a scene in which a young actress around the age of 11 was portraying a young Rey, with an older man said to be Rey's father. It's described that the environment appeared to have dozens of, ten, uh, of tents in the background, and was said to be a village for the scene. It's said that the costume design for Rey's father was dubbed as the Gatherer C.O.T.F. Other costume designs for Rey's father included the name Vidar, which we have heard before in the past. However, many of the designs call him the Gatherer, who was associated with the C.O.T.F., which likely stands for the Church of the Force. It's a scar that Rey's father will be explored in great detail in Nine, and that his story is also tied to the origins of her staff and the importance of it, implying that he is the one who discovered the staff before the events of the sequel trilogy. The costume design was described to be a long black cloak with white stripes running down it and a raised collar. So I want to go over how he is described as the gatherer and associated with the COTF. Now the COTF, like I say, most likely stands for the Church of the Force. Now the Church of the Force, in case you guys have no idea what that is, it is actually an organization, a little group, if you will, keeping the Jedi legacy alive. Now this was mostly a group, you know, well after the events of the uh, well after the originals, during the remnants of the Empire, you know, well after the Battle of Jakku, I must add. They were trying to keep the Jedi legacy alive as long as possible, while also protecting a lot of Jedi lore from the remnants of the Empire. So you can only imagine why he is called the Gatherer. And this also applies to what we have been going over, you know, these past couple of months about how Rey's father has a lot of ancient artifacts stored in his abandoned home that Rey actually goes to at some point in time in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So. With that being said, just yesterday we went over how she eventually goes to Rey's father's home, her own father's I should say, and she discovers all these different artifacts of Palpatine, Plagueis, other Sith and Jedi, etc. And that most likely is exactly the reason as to why the costume design used on set for the unnamed actor portraying the older version of Rey's father tells us as to why he is dubbed as the Gatherer, also known as Vidar. We've gone over that name, by the way, before many times, but the Gatherer is something new and something that we have never heard before in the past. Now, it almost reminds me of something around the lines of The Collector from Marvel, something similar in a sense to that. Maybe Disney and Lucasfilm are taking a lot of hints of their own property, for all we know. I don't know. So now that J.J. Abrams is back for, you know, basically just ending the sequel trilogy, he's going to be answering a lot of those questions and really giving fans a lot of closure on certain aspects of the sequel trilogy. And that's a good thing to look forward to. So Ray's father, like I say, the name Vidar, V-I-D-A-R, in case you guys haven't been following, we've been hearing about that name for quite some time now. However, the Gatherer is something very new. New. The Gatherer COTF is what the actual costume design was labeled as. Like I say, COTF most definitely stands for Church of the Force, without a doubt. We do know that Lor San Tekka, the old man that got killed by Kylo in The Force Awakens, was a part of the Church of the Force and worked very closely with Luke Skywalker. Now, there's a lot of talk that the Church of the Forest may very well have been on the planet Jakku for all we know. 
and that could very well fall directly in line with exactly why this set that was used during filming over in December of 2018 at Cardington had a lot of tents. If you guys go ahead and look at the beginning of The Force Awakens, what do you see? You see a lot of tents, right? So this could most certainly be based on the planet of Jakku without a doubt. I have no reason to doubt that. So when we look at Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker, that's one thing that I am looking forward to is exactly how significant Rey's father really is going to be, not just on the character of Rey, but to the overall story of how it spans from start to finish. Exactly how significant is he really going to be? Yes, they will be exploring Rey's parentage. Yes, they will be exploring Rey's lineage. However, it does make one wonder how significant, how much of an impact Rey's father is going to have on Rey in her, you know, older years now, in her 20s, how that's actually going to have, a, have like this effect on her. So, the fact that this movie is based one year after the events of Episode 8, you can only imagine what happened in between as well that's going to be explored in the forms of books, novels, comics, you name it. There's a lot of content to cover there. So what do you guys think about him being referred to as the Gatherer, also known as Vidar? Very interesting indeed, guys, I gotta say. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you also very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.